Hey guys, this is Danny for AEScripts.com and today I'm going to show you my new script called Lazy. To install Lazy, first you need to get ZXP installer from AEScripts.com. Once you have that, open it up, navigate to the .zxp file that I provided you in the download, just drag it in, it's going to prompt you for your login. And once you have done that, it will say it's successfully installed. Once you have Lazy installed, this is what the interface is going to look like. As you can see, we have a Bezier curve with Bezier handles on both top and bottom, an input box for the number of frames we would like our distribution to take place over, a toggle if we want it to be ascending or descending, and another toggle if we want it to be affecting only keyframes or just layers. Let's do a quick example of how we would use Lazy to distribute layers across our timeline. First, select as many layers as you would like, either all of them or some of them. Let's select all of them. Let's say that we want our, our ease to be easing out or easing in the beginning and easing out at the end. So we want a double ease here. Uh, let's say we want another the distribution to take place over 30 frames. And let's say that we want that to be descending. And just like that, as you can see, we have distributed our layers across this Bezier curve all within our timeline, super intuitively, super easily. Now that we distributed the layers across the timeline, let me show you some quick ways to make some easy changes to it. We can have a layer ease out, just ease in. We can alter the length of the ease. Toggle if we want it to be ascending or descending, or do whatever we want. This is all updated live super intuitive, super quick. It's an awesome way to really get some great eases across our timeline. Now that I've shown you how to use Lazy to distribute layers across your timeline, let me show you how to use it to distribute keyframes. So as you can see here, we have this scene set up where there's a bunch of different groups that are all scaling up from zero to 100. But since it all happens at the same time, it's kind of boring. Let's use Lazy to fix that. First, let's construct our Bezier curve. Let's have them all ease out. Let's have it take place over 30 frames. And let's have it be ascending. Now, this toggle right here is important to know. So right now, it is in the proper toggle setting for distributing only keyframes. This is how it was um, set for layers. So know that when it's green and the toggles at the top, it is in distributing layer mode, and when it is uh, down at the bottom and blue, it is for keyframes. So when we, if we were to select all these keyframes and try to use lazy, it would not work because it's still in um, layer mode. <clears throat> Let's change that to keyframe mode, and as you can see, it, set off, it offset that distribution that selection of keyframes along this uh, Bezier curve with easing in over the course of 30 frames. Um, so let's try that for the, our whole scene. So we're going to select all of our keyframes in our timeline. Uh, let's apply the same curve uh, just a little bit. And just like that, we have this awesome offset within our timeline of all these different keyframes following that same Bezier curve that we used to offset the layers. So now as you can see, things scale up much quicker to begin with, but as they get towards the end of, it, the, end of the workspace, uh, things scale up much more offset, which looks really cool with this Coachella text coming in. Now that I've shown you the fundamentals of Easy, let me show you a practical application of it. So Lazy is super awesome when it comes to text animation. It can do some really great work for you. So right now we have this scene set up where it's one layer of text. They're all text outlines, and they're all animating up into this track map that is right here. So as you can see, there's a different keyframe for every single letter. Right now they're all anim animating up at the same time, so it looks kind of boring. Now it's super awesome to use Lazy with any text animation, especially long text, because it's really a great way to see how this is really taking effect. So let's design our Bezier curve. 
let's have them all ease out, but not ease in at all. Uh, let's have us take course over 30 frames. So essentially what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of different layers right here at the beginning, and towards the end, they're going to be a lot more spaced out. So a lot of the text is going to come in super quickly at first, and the ending text is going to take more, more time. So let's highlight all of our layers. Um, you can actually only uh, highlight one keyframe that's in that uh, property, and it'll affect them the same way. Again, let's make sure that our toggle is set for keyframing. And I believe descending is right. Yes, as you can see, THD, the is my first word in this uh, sentence. So let's select all of our keyframes, make one final adjustment, adjustment. And now, as you can see, we have a super awesome ease where they're all bunched together at the beginning, but at the end, they're a lot more spread out, which is gonna make a very cool dramatic text animation for us. Much better than that simple, all coming up at the same time. This is a lot more character. So let's uh, let's undo that and try a different way real quick. Um, how about we have them an ease out, ease in. Here's what the displacement looks like. And now, as you can see, if I play this a little bit more frame by frame, these first uh, letters are coming in um, more spread apart than these middle letters are, as you can see. And then towards the end, we had that same easing as we did at the beginning. So awesome ways to add a lot, a lot of different uh, looks to any type of animation you have. And especially when it comes to text animation, you get some really cool effects using Lazy.